Go. And this here is how the drill was shipped to you originally. And all you have to do is turn this to this angle here so it's right square on there. That's all you have to do. You have to make sure that this bolt down here is tight. You have to tighten that up with a pair of pliers or with a wrench. Once that's tight, this here is the, uh, is the socket and I've already got it already included in there. Here's your little uh, key when you want to use this here drill as a drill, it's a, it's a really big bonus, you're all set up to go. This is where it goes over here, sits down on the ground, and it just matches up right to there. And that's all there is to it. Okay, um, if you notice here, oh, is it on? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you notice, um, I put these in on an angle, and this is just used for demonstration purpose. Oh, excuse me. Uh, this is used just for demonstration purposes. Um, these little tags that are down here, right in here, um, those would probably go down into the ground deeper. And if you notice, this whole thing is in on an angle so that as the winch gets tight, those poles might come up a little bit, but that's okay. And now next we're gonna start to reel this in, and I'll show you kind of what it, uh, what it does. So I'm going to uh, uh, have my, put it right down here, and then we'll uh, just have to plug it in. The shorter the extension cord and the heavier the extension cord is better. Um, and there's directions on how to read it. So if you just touch, just touch this here a little bit as it goes up here, if it doesn't quite match up. Okay, now this here, if you'll notice, this has got variable speed. See how slow it goes? Or oh, we can go really fast. So kind of depending on how, how quickly that you want to reel stuff in. So I'm going to uh, stop the video for just a minute and I'm going to uh, show you what we do back here to the scoop. Go ahead. Okay, this here is once it once you float it out to the lake to where you want to go, you go out maybe 10 or 15 feet further than what you want, and then you just start to pull the pull the uh, pull the rope in. And as the rope goes in, the the muck will be accumulating in here, and as it gets full, you lean the uh, tub back, and now it's full, and you continue to go on up to the winch. When you want to do some digging, or if you want to try to go down a little bit lower, if you hold it up like this, it will actually dig in more because the cutting edge is on a is on a better angle. And now, as we get up here to the okay, so now we're pretending that there's a whole bunch of muck up in the in the scoop, and we're up to where we want to dump it. So we back off the line, and we flip this over like this. And now, what we do, you'll notice. What happens is that, see these feet right here? They're gonna hit the ground. And now we're just gonna flop it right on over. Bingo, like that. And you notice now you don't have to put your hands in the muck because it's raised up by that. So all you do now is just flip the thing over and you're ready to go back to work. It's that easy. Okay, this is how I do a right angle turn. Say that you don't want to go just straight in and out, straight in and out. You want to go in like at a 90 degree angle. So if you notice, I went out and I drove this stake into the, out into the lake. The green is actually supposed to be the lake. Out into the lake, about uh, 10 feet further out from the shore. Um, I drove it in on an angle. And then I put the rope around it. And now I got the scoop out there. So now um, I can come in at a right angle. Because if you'll notice, this here is where the winch is, and this here is where the scoop is, and it's all at a right angle. So now you can, of course, you can move that scoop around at any 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 angle that you want to. Now, when you get up close to the uh, close to this up here, you have to stop, stop the scoop, and you have to unwind 
the winch and take the line off from the off from this piece of pipe and then you can come straight in I'll, I'll do a little demonstration for you on that okay. now we have the scoop is brought up here tight to the uh, not tight you don't want it tight up to this post so now all you do is you, you go back unwind it take this out like this and now as you pull the whole thing comes up straight now we're going to wind up here to the, uh, or finish winding it up to where we want the uh, the rest of the load uh, to go. Okay. okay, here is where I am making a, per a mistake on purpose to show you that how the winch is not lined up. This is not lined up. If you'll notice where the uh, yellow rope is on the drum, if I start pulling it up, it's hard to see that it's on a, uh, with video and yeah, I might be able to get it over here Okay, here it is See this here is not the rope is not at a right angle um, It's more it's not square with the world I'm gonna wind it up a little bit and you'll see that it all just balls up on the side and What we have to do is make an adjustment Okay, so you'll notice that everything just keeps balling up on the side, balling up on the side. So what do we have to do? Whatever side it's balling up on, we just have to shorten this chain right here until it gets square with the world. And I'll show you how easy that is. That's why these chains are this way. All you do is just grab it, get it lined up better, put the chain Put the chain up there, okay? Now we're at a 90 degree, and as we wind it up, the line will come in straighter. You see how nice the line is coming in now? It's kind of lining up here. One other thing about this winch is that if you pull on the bare drum, you have more power on the, on the bare drum than you do on this uh, balled up part. The bigger the diameter, the less power that you have. And that's the lesson for today. We hope you enjoy it. It takes a, a lot of, uh, uh, saving a lot of effort on being able to do all that. And I'm your host, John Wagner. I'm your inventor. Thanks for watching.